Now let's factor out trinomials the easiest way. Let's start with x squared plus 8x plus 15. This is our first example. And as you can see, in our first term, the coefficient of the x squared is 1. So it is a lot easier for us to factor this out. So we will start with 15. What we need to do is we need to think of the factors of 15 that will add up to positive 8. And the factors are 1 times 15 and 3 times 5. Here, we will choose 3 times 5 because when we add 3 and 5, it will give us 8. So how are we going to factor this one? We need to prepare parentheses. Since this is 1x squared, it is just x and x. As for the factors of the binomials, we have 3 and 5, that is plus 3, and then plus 5. This now, the factors of the given trinomial. Now, if you want to check whether your answer is correct, you can do multiplication by FOIL method. This is just the checking, huh? x plus 3 times x plus 5. Multiply this. This is x squared. This to this. x times 5 is plus 5x. 3 times x, that is plus 3x. Next is 3 times 15, that is plus 15 x squared plus 8x plus 15. So as you can see, we have the same answer. Definitely, this is our factors. Now let's go with item number 2. We have x squared plus 9x plus 20. So here, our constant is 20. We need to think of the factors of 20 that will add up to positive 9. So we have 20, the factors are 20 times 1, we also have 2 times 10, we also have 4 times 5. Here as you can see, definitely, 5 times 4 or 4 times 5 will give us the answer of 9. So what are the factors of this expression? We have x plus 5 times x plus 4. These are the factors of our second trinomial. Let's go with the third example. We have x squared minus 5x minus 24. As you can see, this is negative and this is also negative. So what we need to do is to think of factors of negative 24, negative 24, that will add up to negative 5. Since this is negative, we're expecting that the factors have different signs. We have negative 24. So the factors are negative 1 times 24. We have negative 2 times 12. We have negative 3 times 8. We also have negative 4 times 6. And as you can see, the thing here is that we have negative 5 only 3 and 8 will give us the sum of negative 5. But we need to reverse the sign because when we add up negative 3 and 8, it will give us the positive 5. What we need is negative 5. So this 3 will become positive and this 8 will become negative. So what will happen is that our factors should be x plus 3 and then x minus 8. And as you can see, this is the easiest way on how to factor out a given trinomial in which the coefficient of the first term is 1. Now let's go with item number 4. I will give you x squared plus 3x minus 4. You can pause the video for a while and then later on you will check whether your answer is correct. Okay, now, we will think of the factors of negative 4, this negative 4, that will add up to positive 3. So let's list down all the factors of negative 4. And those are negative 1 times 4. We also have negative 2 times 2. And obviously, the only pair of factors that will give us 
the sum of positive 3 are negative 1 and 4. Because when we add up negative 1 and 4, it will give us positive 3. So the factors are x minus 1 times x plus 4. And these are the factors of our given trinomial. So in the next part of our video, I will give you quadratic trinomials in which the coefficient is greater than 1. Now, how are we going to factor out a given trinomial in which the value of a is greater than 1? First, we need to multiply the coefficient of the leading term, which is 2, and it's constant. It is called the AC method. So what we have is 2 times negative 2. And multiplying that, that will give you the answer of negative 4. So after multiplying the value of a and c, your coefficient of the first term and the constant, we need to think of the factors of negative 4 that will add up to negative 3. And definitely, the factors would be negative 4 times 1. Because when we add negative 4 and 1, it will give us negative 3. So what's next after that? Copy the first term, which is the 2x squared. And this 3x or negative 3x will be replaced by negative 4 and 1 with the variable x. That would be negative 4x plus 1x minus 2. So you're, as of now, maybe you're confused. What happened to negative 3x? Negative 3x is the same as negative 4x plus 1x because what we're going to do next is we will do factoring by grouping. So what we, will, what we need to do here is that we will regroup these four terms into two groups. This is the first group and this is the second group. We will think of their greatest common factor, 2x squared minus 4x, their GCF is 2x. And then let's find out the other factor. 2x squared divided by 2x is simply x. The negative 4x divided by 2x is negative 2. And for the second group, since they, ha they don't have the same, uh, the greatest common factor, we will just put plus 1. Then the other factor is x minus 2. And as you can see, we have the same binomial here. If you have the same binomial, you're doing fine, guys. So what we need to do is we will pull out the common binomial, which is x minus 2, and then the greatest common factors, which is 2x, and then plus 1, that would be the second factor of the binomial. We have 2x plus 1. And these are the factors of the given trinomial. Now, to practice that we on how to factor out this kind of trinomial, let's move on and solve this trinomial. We have here 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. So we will go with the value of a in our coefficient or constant. We have 2 times 3. That will give us the answer of 6. Now we will think of the factors of 6 that will add up to 7. The factors are 6 times 1. And 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. We will copy the first term. We have 2x squared, and this 7x will be replaced by 6x plus 1x. So this is plus 6x plus 1x, and then copy plus 3. Regroup them. This is the first group, and this is the second group. So what will happen is we will figure out their common monomial factor, or greatest common factor. Here, that is 2x. So 2x squared divided by 2x is x. 6x divided by 2x is plus 3. And since they don't have the greatest common factor, we will put plus 1, then times x plus 3. So as you can see, they have the common binomial. Pull that out. It will become x plus 3. Then 2x plus 1. So as you can see, guys, that is the easiest way on how to factor out trinomials in which the coefficients of the leading term are 1 or greater than 1. So guys, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit the bell button 
for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!